I really hate it when someone accidentally splits the planet. This panel tries to break the planet by applying force to an infinitely small point. To make sure everyone is on the same page, we have to go through some stuff. In geometry, the more size the shape has, the more points it will have, and the more circular it becomes. If say we increase the number of those points to infinity, we will get what is known as a perfect circle, a frictionless ideal shape that only exists in mathematics. Pressure is defined as force acting on a cross section. One pound of force acting upon one square inch equals one psi. If we decrease the area to half an inch, pressure doubles to two psi. If we keep shrinking the area until we reach an infinitely small point, any force applied to it would create infinite pressure. The idea here is that a perfect rigid sphere falling down will destroy anything it touches, because there will be an infinitely small point of first contact, and thus subjugating anything on its path to infinite pressure, but this is just possible in mathematics. In reality, a perfect sphere cannot exist because physics prevents it. No matter what kind of tools or technology is used, we would still run into something called the Planck scale. That's the smallest unit of measurement there is. In other words, everything, no matter how small, remains finite and will eventually come to an end. And even if we did have a perfect sphere, nothing in the world is completely rigid. Both the sphere and the ground will deform until that small point becomes large enough to support the sphere's weight. In other words, nothing will happen.